Welcome back. In this video, we'll be learning about form submission state in React Hook form. It is useful for tracking the progress and outcome of form submissions. We will be covering four properties in particular. Is submitting, is submitted, is submit successful, and submit count. So let's jump right in and explore what each of these properties represents. Back in VS Code, Let's destructure the properties and log them to the console one at a time. First, we have is submitting. This property allows you to track whether a form is in the process of being submitted. It is a Boolean value with a false default value and is set to true when the form is being submitted. You can see, Initially, is submitting is false. We fill in the details and submit the form. You can see the value of is submitting is true and then false when the form submission is completed. The second property we have is is submitted. This property allows you to track whether a form has been submitted. It is a Boolean with a false default value and is set to true after the form is submitted and remains true until the form is reset. If we refresh the page, you can see is submitted is false to begin with. Fill in the form details, click on submit, and you can see is submitted is true after the form submission is complete. Third, we have is submit successful. This property indicates whether the form was successfully submitted without any runtime errors. It is set to true if the form submission is successful and false otherwise. Fill in the form details, click on submit, and you can see is submit successful is set to true. Now, if I remove the disabled attribute on the submit button, Go back to the browser and change email to just Batman. Click on submit. You can see is submit successful is false as we have a validation error. Finally, we have submit count, which keeps track of the number of times the form has been submitted. It is incremented by one each time the form is successfully submitted. Initially, the submit count is zero. Click on submit, and the submit count is now one. Submit again, it is two, three, four, and so on. While all these properties may not have a major role in all scenarios, one particular property that can be very useful is eSubmitting. You can use the eSubmitting flag to disable the submit button while the form is being submitted, preventing multiple submissions of the same form. For example, you can add disabled, not eSturdy, or not eSvalid, or is submitting. Take a look at the browser. Click on submit, and you can see the button is momentarily disabled while the submission is in progress. All right, we have one more concept to look at related to form submission, so let's do that in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.